Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak about a parent's perspective. Although I had uh, the opportunity to share my thoughts, a little bit different thoughts, uh, at the Berlin uh, PLA, but it was only at a workshop, so um, I'm really happy to be here and uh, to uh, share this perspective with you um, in a plenary session. Doesn't work. Um, I will sh uh, start with a very short introduction. I can speak about 30 minutes about it. It's about EPA, which is the European Parents Association. It's been around for nearly 30 years now, with uh, 60 members from uh, nearly 30 <laughs> European countries, not only EU countries, but also Council of Europe. I cannot really give you an exact number because we have some applicants who will join uh, next week, uh, and it will mean two new countries uh, to uh, EPA. We have members from all over Europe, and we represent altogether 150 million parents from Europe, which is, I think, quite an impressive number. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that all the 150 million parents are active parents. And I think we need your help and your encouragement, as well as our own uh, initiatives, to make them real partners in school leadership and in all aspects of uh, school. We are the only European association that offers uh, organized representation to parents and we also share best practices and knowledge uh, amongst our members, like the opportunities that we get from um, this um, uh, this network, which I can never pronounce, and I always applaud Cathy for being able to pronounce Abnosol. So. Um, and I think it's very important, and that's why we are here, that we are not generally interested in parental issues, uh, because there are some specialized organizations on the European level who are uh, most concerned about um, early, school, uh, early ages or special needs children. We are more, most concerned about parents in education. Why I'm here and why I'm trying to share my thoughts with you is that IPA says that parents' rights are nested and positive, positively linked uh, to the rights of the child. And if you go through the Convention on the Rights of the Child, that is part of the legal system of each and every European country, it will show you that the primary decision-making is there with parents. And not schools, not policy makers, not governments, but parents, whenever it comes to children and whenever it comes to schools, because you are making your decisions when it comes to your child's education. This is why we say that parents need to participate in public education, in all aspects of public education. Uh, we as parents need to be informed, we need to be asked and listened to, and really involved in the decision-making processes and the execution processes too. We say that the Convention on the Rights of the Child says that parents are the primary educators of their children, which means that they are the first and most impacting educators. This is a general thought, but at the same time we are very well aware that very many parents cannot really uh, live up to this potential. Everybody has the potential to become a good primary educator, but many, many parents need encouragement and need support. They need support from other parents. They need support from special services in each country, from the birth of the child or even before childbirth, and they need help from schools, those schools who have, in our opinion, a very, very different role when it comes to students and parents in the 21st century or the beginning of the 21st century. We very strongly demand that policymakers think about this and they change the policy and they change the law in each European country. They audit the laws that uh, affect families, the social systems, and education to really involve parents and also to empower parents. In the school, 
the basic stakeholders, the, the, the most important three stakeholders, are the students, the parents, and the teachers. And it's deliberate that they are put like this, because the student, of course, is the most important and isn't on the top of this school leadership triangle. The triangle is not always like this. They don't, it doesn't always have equal sides. It depends on many factors, but it is a triangle. And if you lose any of the sides, it will not work. And you will need this for school partnership. Why do we need school partnership from a parental point of view? International studies, many international studies show that Regardless, I think it's really interesting, regardless the socio-economic socio status, education, health, whatever, of the parent, parental involvement enhances school results. Um, I think it's really interesting because even undereducated parents, if they are really involved, will help the children in their learning. It increases the enrollment on, in higher education, secondary and tertiary education, that is the main goal in ET 2020. Increases attendance, which is a question in many, many countries. Not in our own country, because uh, in, our, in our own country, uh, the policemen will take the children to school, so they thought about a different idea. And also, um, it enhances the social skills and the student's social status within the school. And of course, I know most teachers will not consider themselves as, as um, adult educators, but involving parents enhances the parents' social skills and social status, which is just as important as enhancing the students' skills in that field. How can we do that? And why do we need your help in that? There are different forms of involvement uh, which need different uh, approaches from the school and need different approaches from um, the parents too. The degree of the involvement and the form of it is influenced by the parent's status, socio-economic status, the distance they live from the school, their health, their communication skills, whatever. And of course, that's very natural, it decreases with the age of the child. In many cases, schools tend to forget that the student has to be part of this process, especially because uh, the emphasis is going from the parent to the child and many, many aspects of involvement from primary to secondary, will go from the parent to the student. And many parents feel very uncomfortable because they go back to the school where they had very, very bad experiences. And in many cases, they are uh, considered like children. Uh, and it has to be changed in order to have real successful parental involvement. Um, I'm not going to talk about the rethinking education uh, policy, but because I think you're very well aware of it. But um, the changing role of the school uh, in the framework of the rethinking education policy means that the school became, in a way, a very, it has to become uh, a very different kind of institution. Um, and at the same time, it has to have a very, very different kind of partnership because we, as parents and teachers, don't really understand our children. They are a different generation with a different way of uh, learning. Um, brain um, research says that they have a different physical way of learning that neither the teachers nor the parents understand. And at the same time, the school is not the place where you are finished as a person, but it's a starting point. And it has to be understood by the student, which means that first of all, it has to be understood by the parents and the teachers. And of course, there is the changing role for both parents and teachers. Uh, the parents, uh, the students are, uh, sorry, the teachers are not the source of knowledge anymore, they are kind of guides. 
and also co-learners with the parents. The parents are not customers anymore. But they have to be partners in the teaching process. And also they are co-learners and co-teachers. Um, and I want to kind of finish with the thought um, of introducing you with the PIAC results. And I'm pretty sure you are well aware of the PIAC results, which show that the uh, schools will have a role in parents' education. And it's not a role in educating the parents as parents, but educating the parents as just students, because the PIAC results see, uh, show that parents have very, very low skills. And they are easiest to reach uh, through the schools, which means that everybody in the school framework has to become learners, and they have to learn from each other. And um, they have to become partners in becoming a new type of learner for the 21st century. Thank you very much. It was a very, very short time, but I don't want to go on. If you have any questions, I'm really happy to answer anything. Thank you. Got it. Thank you.